exercised, men in particular find it easier to exercise while fasting, they burn more fat, mm. that it makes you feel more cheerful. There's actually quite a lot of evidence, <laughs> which is very, very unexpected. Yeah. But what happens is your brain starts producing... Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanilongo back with another reaction video and today I'm actually going to be reacting to something that you guys actually suggested. So if you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe. Today I'm going to be reacting to scientifically proven benefits of fasting, Monday and Thursday move to mink. I always love reacting to move to mink so I'm excited to see what this video actually holds. I hope you guys are having a great day and other than just a big shout out to the person that suggested this, a big shout out to everyone that's been watching, liking, sharing, just clicking on our stuff. We really, really appreciate. There's no words that could actually show how much appreciative we are, but we're very, very thankful. So, without wasting time, or before we get into the video, make sure you follow us on our social media and... I mean, you can interact with us, you can just say hi, we'll say hi back. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Positively impacted, including your emotional, mental condition by fasting twice a week. And they've spaced it out such that they arrived at the conclusion Monday and Thursday. Amazing. I actually have seen this on BBC myself. I mean, I've lost about 19 pounds of fat over a period of about two and a half months. And I was quite skeptical about it before I began. And then I looked into it and the science was really impeccable. Not just about weight loss, but about all the other health improvements you get with it. And that's mm. why I wrote a book about it. And that w what makes it psychologically attractive is the fact that you're not going to be doing it for the rest of your life, if you like. You're going to do it two days a week. And I do it on a Monday and a Thursday, yeah. uh, not least because that's what the Prophet Muhammad suggested many years ago. And all the great religions have advocated fasting. Well, what's striking about it is there have been a number of clinical trials now done, uh, some here, some in the States, following up hundreds of women, hundreds of men, over quite long periods of time and what they find is that people actually feel more energetic. They feel more enthused. Men in particular find it easier to exercise while fasting they burn more fat. Mm. That it makes you feel more cheerful. There's actually quite a lot of evidence <laughs> which is very very unexpected yeah. but what happens is your brain starts producing this stuff called neurotrophic factor uh, which is both protective against Alzheimer's and dementia but it also makes you feel good. And it's amazing when we say it's a sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam even the weak from amongst us start thinking, yeah, you know, it's just a sunnah. Don't use the word just a sunnah. A sunnah is something magnificent. It is a gift of Allah to us via Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Look at it, study it, see. But when the non-Muslims come about with the same in terms of discovery, we say, wow, I'm going to start fasting twice a week. Subhanallah. Now we have a bonus here because we have the sunnah as well as the discoveries. Both are together. So let us start inshallah, try it at least sometime. Like you know, sunnah is not farad. Sunnah meaning that which was encouraged by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and it was not made compulsory. It is not compulsory, but it has its merits. It has benefits in it which are amazing. So I'd like to promote it from this platform to say my brothers and sisters, including myself, try out this fast Monday and Thursday. If not every Monday and Thursday, at least sometimes, you know, try it out. See the benefit you have. You fast, you arrive at a new level of spirituality. Believe me, trust me, it is just like Salatul Tahajjud. Tahajjud is the pre-Fajr prayer, which we always say, if you have not engaged in it, try it out at least a few times in your life. Come on, try it out. I'm sure we can be strong enough to do that. We can try it. So get up. I really love Mufti Meng's videos. I'm obsessed with Mufti Meng. Just like the way he brings out his points and explains things. And I really wish this was actually a longer video. A big, big, big shout out to the person that actually suggested this. You're the best. You are the best. You have no idea. Um, I'm trying to think. Fasting really has different meanings for different people. 
but then I'm wondering I'm thinking to myself so if I should fast is if I even ask me a question is fasting beneficial to everyone or is it just certain people I've never fasted I think I said this in my previous video I think I did with Jesse back in the days I said I never fasted because I just don't get the meaning behind fasting plus I just love food but then can someone just explain to me again what fasting is all about also um, it talks about Tuesday and Thursday why these particular days what's so special about the man about a monday that someone should fast or a tuesday or not tuesday or a thursday because i actually know someone who's fa who fasts on thursdays i've never asked why but i guess it's because of their religion that's why they fast on thursdays but other people do it on different days but why why the suggestion monday and thursday is there something happening in the world does the earth reposition itself does what happens what's the logic behind that also it's also good when you i mean fasting i guess fasting is good when it comes to the health benefits you get to feel good about your health you're losing a few pounds here and there but then that's what i'm saying is it beneficial for everyone what if someone is small in small body i should say should fasting be advised also the people that don't like to eat in this world but they'll drug they'll try to attempt to fast should that be advised i've always said i want to try out fasting so if anyone can make me can really really make me understand what it's all about i'm more than willing to actually try there's there's some fasting wanted to try out but those there was a reason why I wanted to try it out. I've forgotten what it was. But otherwise, thank you for suggesting this. Of course, I know the health. There is one or two health benefits. But I'll just like more information on this. So if you've got if you guys have more videos, let us know in the comment section below. And yeah, this was a lovely video. I really loved it. I love Mufti Menk. I just love the way he brings his point across. Plus, I haven't act reacted to him in a long time, so this was amazing. Let me know how you feel about this video, what point you have concerning fasting, if you fast, and when you fast, and why you fast on that day, or how many times you actually fast, or why did you start fasting, or why are you fasting? Let me know, or what happens during fasting, or is it just, or when you fast, it's just water, or when you fast, you break fast at a certain time, or what, let me know. I don't understand the way you do it or the way other people just actually do it and why they do it. I hope I made sense with all of that rambling that I just did at the end of this video. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Also suggest things and I'll see you in my next reaction video. I will never walk away from who we are. You want the world, so I take it to the stars. Take it to the stars. Take it, take it to the stars. Yeah,